Hey, good morning everybody. This is day five of the South Dakota, Wyoming, Black Hills and Bighorn trip. So right now I am headed over to Iron Mountain Road. I'm going to ride Iron Mountain Road from south to north. And then I'm going to loop around and come down the uh, Needles Highway from north to south. And uh, if the weather's still good and I'm in the mood, I might even check out the Custer State Park Wildlife Loop. Hi. Welcome to Custer State Park. Thank you. Motorcycle passes are ten dollars. Yes. And then it's good for seven days. That's perfect. Do you take credit card? We do. All right. So the first few miles of Iron Mountain Road from the south start out kind of slow. There's some uh, there's some nice curves in there. It's all very tight technical stuff. But then as you get in a few miles into it, it really uh, really tightens up. And uh, that's where the pigtail tunnel, the pigtail bridges are. A couple of those, and the uh, the one lane roads through the woods, which are fantastic. Those are up ahead as well. So if you're out in this area, you have you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss Iron Mountain Road. Here's the first tunnel of the road, Scoville Johnson Tunnel. These are all one laners, so you kind of got to swing out and check, make sure no one's coming through on the other side. Group of riders. How'd you like to be this bus driver? Try to get around that hairpin. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't coming around it. I might stop somewhere and let this Mini Cooper get on up ahead unless he pulls over here somewhere for me. Look at that. Nice guy. I haven't had many of those on this trip, but I've had a few. of the uh, one-way road the one lane one-way road the uh, the southern lane comes down th through the trees over there but it undulates up and down and side to side right through the pine trees it's just beautiful and such a fun fun motorcycle road There'll be another one up ahead a bit. And this is the first of the pigtail bridges. You can see the tunnel we came out of there, the bridge up above us. All right, this is the second of the one lane roads. The one way, one lane. Don't have to worry about any oncoming traffic. It's being strung through the woods over there. Robinson Tunnel with a view of Mount Rushmore directly ahead. 
Mount Rushmore. The memorial the park area is to the right here. You can see, hopefully you can see on the camera, the four presidents. Let's see, Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, Teddy, and Abraham Lincoln. Four good ones. There's Washington up there. His profile. Right there. I wonder if that would show up on a photo. Alright gang, I've uh, landed on the Needles Highway, running it from north to south. See some of the needles over here to the right. Tunnel. Not sure if this is Needles Eye. Can't remember. It is. This is a Needles Eye Tunnel. Look at that. Awesome. You gotta really approach it carefully, make sure no one's, it's a long tunnel, so you gotta look all the way through it. Because of the kind of tour guide that I am, I'm gonna take you back through the Needle's Eye Tunnel. And there's the Eye of the Needle. See that? Just amazing. Just continuing the ride on Needles Highway. And I believe I'm probably about halfway, halfway through the ride. Well, those are the major highlights of Needles Highway. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do, because the sun's even peeking out, so the rain is holding off, I am gonna go ride the Custer State Park Wildlife Loop. And then finish up the day with that, head back to camp. Maybe see if I can catch a fish. So this herd of buffalo just is, cr is crossing the road right now. Not going to be able to get very close. So the bulk of the herd is here and there's some stragglers that are uh, crossing the road up ahead. So the wildlife loop road takes you through kind of some hilly areas like this, forested areas, lightly forested. Uh, there's some burn areas I've noticed and then it takes you through some uh, kind of some grassland areas So it's nice because it's a, a variety of landscape and um, I suppose that yields to a variety of wildlife that uh, that live here uh, But so far only the buffalo uh, I've seen pronghorn in here before uh, that's all I've, I've seen. Pronghorn and buffalo. That's uh, I believe that's all I've seen in the in the uh, in the uh, loop here. Yeah, very pretty. I mean, if I were on a family trip, I'd certainly take the drive. Even if there were an absence of wildlife, uh, the drive is nice and leisurely, and 
really pretty. I rode through that herd of buffalo about three years ago, right, right here. They were crossing the road. Well, gang, tomorrow is a day of rest. I'm gonna hang out at the campground. It's, there's a 60 to 70% chance of rain at some point during the day. Hopefully do a little fishing. And uh, otherwise, just kind of relax before I hit the road on Sunday morning with a uh, 630 mile ride back home. So I hope you've enjoyed the trip. It's been, uh, it's been fantastic. It's uh, every bit as enjoyable and, um, and challenging too, just from the perspective of living off your motorcycle for days on end. But I really hope you've enjoyed the ride. Thanks for watching. Ride safe and take care.